आई फील इट के इंग्लिश इज रियली वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट नाउ वर डेज but uh, it's universally proven that if you are having the opportunity to admit your child into the vernacular medium do that only yes at least yes. up to the primary education then you can move towards the english medium or any other language medium uh, you uh, check any of the successful the most successful people just like dr vikram sarabhai dr abdul kalam or ramanujan or any of the person they have taken their primary education in their mother tongue only Yes. And that's how they became very much confident. Hi, we are the Confident Communicator, and I am Seema Mehta, along with my partner Deepma Jadeja. Welcome to Imperfect Parenting. Together, let's get on a journey of discovering kindness, success, and happiness courageously, fearlessly, and by holding ourselves. to a standard of grace not perfection it is our mission at the confident communicator to empower kids and adults discover their own uniqueness through our coaching training and soft skills program we welcome you to a new chapter of imperfect parenting a series dedicated to discovering our own uniqueness without judgment by chiseling away all superfluous materials within ourselves hi everyone this is seema mehta from the confident communicator along with uh, my partner deepma jadeja uh, you know every time every time we come to this episode of imperfect parenting we we talk about one thing and i, I remember talking about this every single episode that we grew up in a very different world and our children are growing up in a completely different world i remember when we grew up we used to only focus on functional skills like you do your arts or your science or your commerce business software development design development whatever it is just functional skill sets while our children today will require a very good blend of both functional as well as soft skills this is the requirement of the 21st century that's what everybody is saying and to talk to us about this we have we are so honored and so fortunate that we have somebody who's a veteran of 25 years of, in the education sector dr vaishali shah who uh, i love what she said about children she said children can only perform well when they are self confident uh, and those can be inspired and motivated so that they can do well and there is a bright child in every child i love that line bright child in every child uh she has been involved in uh, uh, like i said 25 years of in the education sector in different roles uh, as a director as a principal as a research associate in different institutions in the amdavad area she has been involved in the education sector for lots of different courses and curriculum development at the state as well as national level uh she is also somebody who has inspired a lot of teachers and students to uh, cultivate the habit of reading which i thought was phenomenal that's amazing kudos to you and currently she is working as campus director at uh, shade uh, c and vidya vihar in amdavad so welcome welcome dr vaishali so honored to have you in our show it's it's fantastic that you have given us the time to be here today how thank are you? you thank you thank you very much to have me over here uh, seema and deepma uh, yes. <laughs> it's really very much wonderful to have always a conversation about the children that's yes. my passion and that's how i feel i am in the field of education surviving and enjoying so you know, one thing much. one thing i i read about you vaishali uh, is that you know you you have yourself developed this sheer strength of character and discipline and resilience as a person as an individual and you feel very passionately about putting those same characteristics in the students that you teach and that you inspire so this conversation about you know the 21st century skills where the functional as well as the soft skills need to be combined what is your take as an educator about it and it's not really easy isn't it to take a functional skill i mean a practical work skill and put it into the classroom it's not easy for even teachers or educators or even in the management and a lot of training happens at the corporate level so how can we bring all of these skill sets into the classroom and what's your take on that uh see very first of all uh, as i am working since so long in the education field and my observation and my experiences that uh, majority of the time uh, we get fail uh, when we do not implement our thoughts 
that is a very first uh, prime most uh, factor which i have observed yeah. and we are not uh, giving that opportunity providing that opportunity to the children as well to implement yes. their thought correct ah. so, you mean to say express what they want to yeah uh, express only but to implement you ah, know we okay. are having a kind of atmosphere in our society in our education system that if a child wants to implement anything them anything but they need to take the permission from yes. the adults yes. right that that is the set uh, theory uh, and yeah. we, yeah, yeah. we are not able to come out of that set theory so right. whenever i have worked with the children at my home as well as in the school or in the different areas i have given that opportunity to the children that they must try to implement whatever comes in their mind Ah. and uh, that gives the uh, you know inherent discipline inherent strength to the children and that's how they become so much of confident let yes. them do the mistakes yes. we are very much afraid of doing the mistakes we are very yes. much afraid of having the bad results yes but we yes. are not preparing our children that whether there will be the failure that's very much okay it's correct very correct much okay right yeah i mean and, if you want to bring out innovation creativity you know these kind of thoughts and ideas in students you need to give them the space and the freedom to be able to make those mistakes and you rightly said you know failure is such a great teacher but we are so afraid of perfection and that everything should be perfect even as parents even as educators that we are not giving our children the we are constantly uh, you know say policing okay. or or uh, yeah i mean all the time seeing that failure is that expect that it with each and every efforts when the efforts are made there yeah. must be a perfect result there must yeah. be a so called good result yes. now i don't know what is the good result yes <laughs> uh, yeah. because it's very much different from ch child to child yeah. as yeah. i am i am a mother of two sons and my both the sons are very much different they are having somewhat of the similarities but then also they are very much different they are unique by themselves they are yeah. unique by themselves yeah. i can yeah. not compare them Correct. Right? Yeah. Correct. and we are always comparing our child our children's efforts with the other children Correct. yes so yes. that is the very much uh, i say it it's a taboo right it's a yeah. taboo. when you right. are comparing your child with others as a teacher or as a mother or as a principal whatever it is you are in a position but you have to not to compare the child that's how i'm saying okay, there is yeah. a bright child in every child right yes. right all the children are having different type of abilities capabilities yeah, yeah. our role is to identify that correct and once correct. we are able to identify we need to create the environment we need to provide the platform we need to provide the opportunities to the children where yeah. they can explore themselves yeah. we are not even allowing them to explore we but are setting you, but... the roads for them you know we are very much into the uh, preparing the road maps this is the yeah. road map and now you have yeah, to... i mean and i thought that that's the kind of rigid environment in an educational uh, you know sort of path that we grew up in and i was hoping that with the advent of all these international curriculums hopefully there is a little bit of a different path where that openness is there do you do you feel that that is still not existing see, see international curriculum that's okay it's good but there isn't any kind of boundaries in our education policy or in our education system right. Right. that any board has given the road map of uh, having the classroom transaction in such a manner yeah. teachers are having total freedom yeah. whatever the board it is it is a state board it is a cbsc True. it's international board whatever it is mm. i'm free to do so i have done that yes. irrespective yes. of any boards right yeah. i have done that and i have uh, always always had a very very promising students you know i cannot say ki any of the child any of the student was not at all promising every right. one uh, every single child every single student they are really very much promising correct But we are not up to the mark to take them on their yeah. own path Correct. So you are saying are learning, training? You know? Are you talking about teacher training? Then are you uh, are you hinting uh, it's, that it's the... everywhere? It's everywhere. Teacher training, the even parents. at home, even at home, parents yeah, as also. well, right? Parents are also uh, always under the pressure of the society. If Correct. my child will not have this result, what will I do? As yeah. I am the director of the uh, uh, entire campus, I am yeah. having fourteen different institutes with me to yeah. work with, and my elder son is studying in the same school. Right. right 
<laughs> now it was very much interesting for us uh, since the last month to have a conversation with him he had just appeared uh, for his board examinations of 12th standard okay right? so uh, when he had completed his 10th board soon after covid came yes at a complete lockdown yes then they started with online and then they were very much habituated with the online so when the school started at yeah. most uh, in november 21 Uh, regular schooling started in November twenty one, uh, where they have to uh, have the choice uh, whether they want to pursue online or it is offline. At home, yeah. At yeah. Home. They yeah. were at home. They were very much at ease. Okay, now we are very much okay with online things, and uh, we don't want to go to the school. Right. Correct. At most, by the time twelfth standard uh, syllabus is completed in the schools, in the coaching classes where they were going, everything was done. Usually, it was revision and doubt solving, and these everything was going on. And suddenly, in the month of February, they had to then appear for the preliminary examinations, pre-board examinations at school. So after two years, they went to the school. Yes. Straight away for the examinations. Yeah. yeah. So they hadn't any kind of experience of particular environment of examinations, how to take up the examinations, and then how to uh, pursue uh, for that one. Yeah. So majority of the students, including my son, uh, they had a very low result. Correct. And they yes, it was a tough year. Yeah. Uh, they came under a great pressure. Yes. Hmm. And uh, they were like that. Okay. Uh, Jay, uh, whatever uh, I have learned, I am not able to recall it. Recall. Yeah. 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 Right. While doing the revision so also. Yes. So While doing yeah. the revision also. Yes. Hmm. Yes. and at that time uh, i sat with my son i sat with his sir as well and uh, he made uh, one schedule according to his comfortability you see now you realize that yes i have to uh, do lots of efforts i have to put lots of efforts i have to do something in a very concrete manner which i have not done till the date and now i am having only 24 days in my hands uh, yes. before the board examinations yeah. so in the 24 days what i'll do yeah how i do how can i do it yeah right? how can i do that yes so uh, we made a schedule and we made him understand hmm see these are the days and this much we can do right, right? we right. don't expect that you do entire things at a very bright level bright level in a sense more than 90% or something like that yeah all right you put in your efforts correct and don't think about the results we will yes, be very much okay yeah. with 40% of results as well yes you yeah. just get pass into so yeah. that you will be having that satisfaction ki yeah my year is not gone wasted yes right? yes and uh, regular counseling counseling in a sense to sit with him and to yes, make him yeah. comfortable yeah. just to yeah. support yeah but whenever he was in need of Yeah. It's not that we had gone to him. Correct. Yeah. He realized, and sometimes he also asks, "Ki, mama, please have have sit with me. Mama, yeah. please talk to me. What yeah. to talk? Anything. Whatever you wish to yes. talk. Yes. Just talk to me. Yes. Right. So this whatever there isn't any agenda. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. always yeah. set the agenda with the children. You know what to talk, how to talk, what right. to not to talk. Mm. It's not like yeah. that. Ki, what to not to talk. Yeah. We yeah. can talk. on any topic with her children correct correct and i i totally love uh, vaishali that you have brought in the importance of conversations and completely open ended yeah. conversations they don't need to have an agenda you don't need to have a specific thing i wanted you to also i love that you gave your son that freedom that you know what even if you get 40% we understand the kind of year you have been through we are having so okay. many opportunities after having the 40% yes So yeah, I, I mean, it's not. You will be not having the results yeah, more than eighty, eighty-five, or ninety. Doors will be closed. I think so, a lot of parents yeah. feel like their the marks that the students get is what defines them. I think it's just oh, one really of the really. one of the milestones in a in a journey uh, that is life, and and it's it's not like life is over because you got a certain percentage. Uh, I think doors of opportunity keep coming as you keep pursuing it. So mm-hmm. I think a lot of parents did not. I hope that a lot of parents were there just like you were mm-hmm. in yeah. supporting their children in in being a bit relaxed about it and saying, you know what, I'll put in my best effort. Yeah. Then whatever the result is, we'll we'll deal with it. 
when it, nowadays there are so many multidisciplinary courses yes, the are available not like yes. that ki you have taken the science subjects and if you will be not having 90% of results yeah all the doors will be closed yeah. there are n number of courses Correct. we are uh-huh. not aware so yeah so parents need to keep in mind there are yeah. so many opportunities i don't think that we should really worry about you know just the marks don't define your children by the marks opportunities will come and go and the it's child is it about attitude yeah. it's about yeah. attitude if you are so having the attitude one... of putting in your efforts at your com- fullest yeah. Yeah. your abilities yes. yeah. okay yeah not today but tomorrow things... or day after tomorrow you will get the results yeah. yes yeah yes yeah. one of the things i'd like you to address then vaishali is i've been noticing this over the past i think 8 or 10 years seema and i have been in this where we are uh, you know we're constantly with 10 year old to 15 year old 16 year old children and we're noticing this trend of parents and the society and the culture in general in india where success is coming is getting defined earlier and earlier Yeah. So how you are having like a fifth grader whose only job should be to learn his times tables and a few spellings and then go out and play and learn a lot of things on the playground as well but i am seeing so many fifth and sixth graders having five six extra curricular activities um, several iit and iit jee classes several coding classes robotics this that and every time we talk to the parents and say are your children getting a little burnt out we have them coming back to us with what you said where they're comparing with others and they're saying but my child will not be prepared because everybody in his class is doing that everybody in her class is doing this yeah. this this you know five seven things so i have to also get into the rat race because otherwise what will happen you know mera bachcha piche reh jayega so how do you address that vaishali how do you address that at a younger age and say he like you said let them feel let them do you know go down and get beaten up let them play in the mud let them you know all those things how do we kind of bring that back whenever uh, i am having the opportunity to talk to the parents very first of all i ask them you just remember your childhood what you have done very nice right yeah, that yeah. we had a very great play time every day yeah yeah very nice yes. after yes. coming to school it was a free time free yes. play it was okay. not a restricted environment where we had to rush to uh, the one class to the another co curricular right. yeah right? yeah so that is the learning From yeah, you learn skills, about social peers, skills, interpersonal the, skills, yeah, conflict management. You learn But all that. We are talking about soft skills right now yeah, that yeah. we have developed very much gradually and silently without in the field, any awareness yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. without taking any of the classes. Classes, yes. Uh, yeah. yes. And gradually, when we became mature and we uh, were uh, independent, uh, we came to realize that oh, we have done this during the uh, during our childhood, during our play. and this is how we are now implementing this right right, right. right. so this is a flow and yes. we have break down the flow yeah. now there's uh, two things i have seen uh, among the children uh, that they have thought of uh, sorry uh, among the parents uh, that they are think- thinking very first of all that if my child will be not knowing the coding Yeah, yeah. finished <laughs> out of the world. <laughs> and and See, I have heard so many children, so many yes. parents say, "Arey, zamana badal gaya." You know all that. Ham log ne jo kiya, it's not going to work now. How See, do zamana badal gaya hai? But how does it change? That we need to think on. Yeah. So, zamana badal gaya means, "Bach ko retrace me dal do." No. Yeah. Bach ko coding sikha do. नो no. बच्चों को कोचिंग क्लासेस में डाल दो बड़े बड़े जहां पर जी की या नीट की ये सब की प्रैक्टिस होंगी दिस इज नॉट दी चेंजेस यू नो द चेंजेस आर इन दी मार्केट चेंजेस आर इन दी एजुकेशन मार्केट करेक्ट सो एंड विद द एजुकेशन मार्केट वी आर फॉलोइंग दोस पार्ट सो इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट कोडिंग इज नॉट गुड यस इट इज गुड बट यू चेक द एबिलिटी ऑफ योर चाइल्ड वेदर इट इज 
really maybe they are interest. not interested in doing that and you know tomorrow there's going to be ai which is going to take away the whole idea of coding only completely <laughs> so i mean by the time you learn coding it will be out of the market anyway exactly. Exactly. things are moving so, so fast in terms all of things are very much you know uh, on the shoulders of on the heads of the parents and they feel ki if these three things will be not over there the children's status rather than their own status will be down yeah get low in the society mothers will be not able to tell to the uh, you know in her circle that my son or my daughter is learning yes. coding <laughs> yeah yeah so i'm saying that careful. my son is doing cooking he is yeah. very much good with the culinary so yeah. i allow him to go into the kitchen and experimenting whatever he wished yes, right? yes. so so that is the uh, thing if my child wants to go out and do something he is saying hey, i i want to go for camping okay go yeah saying, yes, i yes. want to go for horse riding okay go i want to go for swimming okay go and that's how i came to know that my son is having the ability uh, to pursue the adventures yes no so what you are saying uh, vaishali is it's very interesting because what you are saying is that i think that we should give our children opportunities that they seem to be showing interest in and they should let them explore all of those yes. and eventually a pattern will emerge where you will start recognizing that you know what this is an area that he seems to be or she seems to be very passionate about or interested in many a time they, they have to guide them to show the interest yeah. and within few months the child will say no i don't want to go to this yeah. go for yeah. this and that's right. fine it's okay yeah. it's yeah. very fine. much okay that's very much yeah. fine then what we are saying are humne to itne paise bhar diye isme itne tere piche humne dhakke khaye itna time humne waste kiya aur ab 3 mahine ke baad tum bol rahe ho ki ye nahi hoga yeah. mere bete ne 4 yeah. saal ke baad mein tabla chhod diya seekhna yeah i felt so bad because i was very much keen yes. but then thought yes. of you know he is not interested in learning the music in yeah. learning the instruments yeah. he is very much interested into the adventures Yes, yes. So why to? Why I have to make him? Why should I force him to no, do something? Why, why? And I think, yeah, I think parents need to understand that their own personal interest and what they want the child to do versus what the child wants to do themselves. During the very small, the very yeah. young age, you yeah. can do that one. But at one point, when you realize that this is not of your child's interest, yeah, then leave it. Yes. Don't push it. Then, Don't push it. Yeah. Don't yeah. push it. And very easily, you know, very willingly, you come out from that one. Yeah. 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 We don't do that. If we are coming out of that one, then also we are putting the blame on our child. See, right. I have done so much for you, but you are not getting anything. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, so I want to actually. Thing we are putting, we are pouring into our child's mind. Right. 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 And you want to allow them to come up with the solutions and the answers themselves, okay. rather than telling them what to. Yeah, I, I completely hear what you're saying. Yeah. Actually, I want to slightly change gears a little bit here because the challenge is the same in any kind of environment, whether we are talking about a city like Bangalore or Delhi or Bombay, or we are talking about Ahmedabad, Baroda, Surat, any of the cities that we are talking about in the country. The challenges for the parents are the same. However. there are some different sets of challenges that students may have uh, i know that amdavad has recently become a tier 1 city it used to be a tier 2 city and now it has become a tier 1 city of course it it will take some time for it to kind of get to the level where there are still people from uh, tier 2 cities who are coming into the big cities and then there is this fear because we talked to a bunch of uh, uh, you know companies where they hire a lot of great talent from slightly smaller cities and the challenge that they are facing is that while they are extremely competent as far as their skill set is concerned somewhere in the interpersonal skills one of them could be language yes. is where they seem to be uh, like like somebody was talking to us about la- this last week where they hired a bunch of iit engineers very bright kids from a, uh, from some small city in the south and uh, as long as they were doing their coding for a year they were fine then he got promoted to become team lead and as soon as he became team lead everything went wrong because no interpersonal skills no ability to manage people no ability to talk to each other as long as you were working as an individual as an ind- independent uh, contributor it was fine but the minute you had to start talking to clients abroad because the world is flat now everybody is a global citizen how do you then in a city like amdavad 
where people are still moving into the bigger cities. How do you as an educator uh, take care of a challenge like that? How do you address a challenge like that? Uh, as you know that I have initiated few of the uh, reading programs for the children yes. and parents. Yes. Right? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, the focus was on these only to uh, have a proficiency in the language. Correct. And uh, by having the proficiency in the language, you can have a good communication as well. Yes. yes. Uh, so uh, what I did uh, that I uh, would like to give you a, a brief on that. Sure. sure. So you'll be able to understand. Uh, it was a very, uh, very much voluntarily activity. It was not forced. Yes. And the parents were also invited at any point. It wasn't like that ki if you have... Uh, started coming from the very first session then only you will be allowed at any point you can have the entry and at any point you can have the exit right. even on a very alternate or random basis also you can come in and go out right so, uh, what i did that very first of all we must have a feeling of belongingness to the environment yes. that is very much important and another aspect is language yeah so uh, I used to take the children to the different uh, places of the city, uh, mm. like the uh, linguistic department of the universities, libraries of the city, then some of the heritage places, yes. some of the places uh, wherein lot many uh, literary activities are uh, taken up, just like Vishwakosh or Gujarati Sahitya Parishad. These all are the very well-known uh, places or the institutions who, which work for the uh, literature. So right. like that way. And I used to invite any of the author or a poet or a journalist or RJ or a oh, young oh, very author. Very interesting people, yeah, yeah. yeah. So very interesting people to whom children love to have interaction. Yeah. Right? Correct. And they right. were sharing their thoughts about books, about reading, about their life, about anything. It was open-ended dialogue with them. And whatever Good comes yeah. into the children's mind, they were free to ask any. If they feel yeah. okay, this is nonsense, I was saying, ask the nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> they feel it, okay, this, can, uh, this must yeah. be the nonsense. And I was saying, don't feel it nonsense. There is no such thing. Yeah. No such thing. And yeah. though you feel nonsense, then also you ask nonsense. Yeah. You talk yes. on any nonsense thing. Are whatever are you are feel. Are so, are right? Right? so that was giving the confidence to the children. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and uh, along with that, they were knowing. Ke, oh, these RJ to whom I listen every day, he was having lot many failures in his life. Yeah, yeah. He's a very normal person. Yes, yeah. very normal person. Oh, yes. this is a very renowned author. But see, he is talking about his life journey, his success stories. But in his success stories, there are lot many failures. Lots yeah. of. So it's very much okay to be Correct. failure. Yes, yes. One of my things about when you spoke about confidence that really resonates with me is unfortunately, and this is purely in India, I have noticed, is we equate language ability, specifically English language ability with confidence. Yeah. So if I don't speak good English, that means I don't have confidence. I cannot talk. I can, I'm afraid to yeah. share my viewpoints. I have noticed, especially after you know having moved to bangalore and lived in bangalore and been with a lot of training with the tech companies we are on calls with people in different cities of europe in different cities of china in different cities of japan and none of those people have they don't english speak english, they're not english speaking at all yeah right? yeah now in their broken english they are happy to share their viewpoints. They are happy to share their thoughts and their ideas and their solutions. And I always would tell, as a trainer, I would tell a lot of our engineers, look, they're not speaking great English. They are confident in their ability to articulate what they are saying about the engineering situation that is going on. So why are you equating your confidence with English? With language, yeah. Who with made language, it yeah. Go we ahead. have made okay, such have environment, you know, ah. wherein we feel so okay if we are not a good communicator in yes. English with English language, we are the failures and, and we will be not happy. able to pursue anything. Yes. So that's free from the childhood, it is, uh, you know, imposed on us. Yes. Yes. So I say ki if you are having a little bit of good command, we can say functional English, functional, functional language. English yes. Okay. Yeah. 
Yes, yeah, absolutely. Functional English is very absolutely, absolutely okay. Agree. And yes. you can move forward. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Just move forward. Just yeah. go in your flow. Why are you yes. worried about that? I think one that? of the things we need to teach our children right from a young age, whatever their language ability, language does form a part of your confidence and a part of your communication skills, but a lot of other things form it too. You have to have articulation. You have to have be able to think quickly on your feet you have to have good creative solutions you have to have innovative thinking all this is what you are doing by uh, taking them to talk to an rj by taking them to talk to uh, you know an author by taking them to talk to different people from different walks of life that's what will help them start thinking better and you don't have to think in english you can yeah, think in whatever language you want no, but it comes in your thing. mother tongue only when your thought process starts yeah. It, your thought process is always in your mother absolutely, tongue. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, but yes. I think I think the point the point is I mean we this, this sounds really good on paper. Okay, it sounds I'm going to be a devil's advocate. It sounds really good on paper, <laughs> but the fact is that these are the same students who are very bright. I mean, there's nobody is questioning their competency. They are going to go out in the market today where they are going to be working or are they are going to be uh, you know neck to neck with people who. May be very well versed in English, and they may not be as competent, but they're very well versed in English. I think. How do we then? And I think what you're doing is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. We've got yeah. to start talking to our children wherever they are, whichever part of the country they are. That language and confidence are not intertwined. Correct. Yes. Very true. And and and, and, and knowing your language, you can have more confidence at one yes. point. And if yes. you have functional English, that it's is enough. Thing. What even any language, from? even yes. any language, right? Absolutely, it's part of absolutely. communication. It's not about English only. English has uh, taken language, the place yeah. of the you know international language, and that's yeah. how very much. And in our India, I feel so okay because of the British rule, we are very much obsessed with the English language. Yes, right? yeah. But if in Europe you'll go, it's not everywhere. It's English. If you want to go to Germany, you have to learn German or go France. To, yeah, or even France. France. You yeah. have to learn French. Yes. It's not yes. like that. Yes. You Correct. have to learn English. They don't Correct. ask for English. Correct. Yeah. And if you I, I think... go with the English language, English taught courses, yeah. you have to pay the fees. Correct. And if you go with the German taught, you have to not to pay the fees. Yeah, yeah. it's clear. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to uh, diminish the importance of uh, you know. Definitely, India has benefited from being an English speaking country sure. in, especially in the soft skill skills uh, so software arena. You know, coming from Bangalore because we are in Bangalore, where technology is everywhere. You you turn there is technology everywhere, and definitely the English speaking Indians have benefited greatly in this industry, in the technology industry. That is uh, but at the same time, I think we have to start working on those soft skills. Which are not dependent on the language, which are not dependent on English to become a, an expert at time management or resilience or uh, decision making or interpersonal skills. Yeah, those should not be connected with language and confidence. So those two things we need to sort of break down. And I hope I'm so glad to see that there are educators like you who are attempting to take away that myth of you know English is everything. It's not everything. Yeah. Uh, I think so being an educator or being in the education field, it's yeah. not only our responsibility to make teach students uh, the textual content, yes. but not many other things. And along with that, uh, parents are also needs to be oriented. Yes. So let's talk about the parents because one of the biggest challenge I remember you telling me that uh, it's really after the tenth is where the parents start getting involved into the children's life. While you will find that especially in tier one cities like Bombay, Bangalore, Delhi, the parents, a lot of the parents are very globally travelled citizens. They are very involved, and some of them are to the extent of being helicopter parents. They they get involved oh, in the children's life very very yeah. early on. At the same time, there is a whole concept of this conscious parenting, you know, where we are trying to be as consciously and mindfully doing activities for our children, which will be in their interest. So all of these factors are there. So these parents are still being challenged by the parents who are from the tier one cities who have this global view of how a child should be raised. So how do we prepare parents of tier two cities to start thinking about confidence in this manner, the way that you are describing. As an educator, how do you make that happen? Uh, I feel uh, that uh, as an institution, education yeah. institution, we must have a very frequent dialogue with the parents. 
what we do is that we call the parents for ptm only twice or thrice during a year and that to show the result of a child Marks, yeah. with the notion that your child is not able to do this your child is not able to do that and only this is the result yes, yes. right there isn't any dialogue of having the soft skills there yeah. isn't any dialogue of having the confidence there isn't any dialogue of having lot many other exposures and as well as to become not to become a good parent but at least to have an effort towards becoming a good parent yes yeah. yes right yes. we all are we all have learned from our trial and errors yes we are also not perfect parents yeah right? yeah which is why we call us he is a perfect parent. educationist I cannot say after twenty-seven years of my experience in the field that I am the perfect educator. Yes, it's a learning process. It's Correct. ongoing Constantly process. Constantly growing. And, yeah. Yes, and another thing that whatever we are observing from the outer world, we are observing the successful people or the successful children. Yes, we are not observing others. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So when we start, we'll uh, change our eyesight from the successful people to the normal people to the average people. Right. Or the stories behind the success. Correct. I uh, still uh, remember that uh, the web series scam on Harshad Mehta's. Uh, yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. And Pratik Gandhi had played the role of Harshad Mehta. Yes. And uh, he became very much, uh, you know, successful and. Uh, Famous, for a yeah. like a sensation for the youth and for the people in India, yeah. and uh, in one interview, uh, the interviewer asked him, "Hey, how do you feel about this night and night? What you have achieved in it?" Uh, 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 he had replied very nicely, "This night was ten years long." Wow, <laughs> the struggle <laughs> behind the success. Yeah, we say yes. it night and night, but it wasn't night and night. It was, the night yeah. was 10 years long. He yes. has seen his effort constantly for yes. 10 yes. long years. And yes. then he had this role, this yes. opportunity. Yes. And then yes. he uh, he had that opportunity to showcase or to bring out his talent. Yes. And that's how he became the sensation. Correct. Correct. So Correct. that, that uh, his, uh, you know, answer, that his yeah. response, the glory on his face at that yeah, time yeah, yeah. that mark be and i always give this example to the parent that when you look to the successful people or the successful children yeah. in your definition that yeah. cannot be very first of all the definition of your children for your children yes. right. another thing you have to look behind the stories of the success correct yeah. correct see the struggle, struggle that has taken them to that yes. success yes, yes. It's not like that, Kat. Very first step, you will become the successful. You Correct. have to take 9,999 yeah. steps. Yes. And at the last one, you will have that success step. Yeah. Correct. So, I think one one important thing. These uh, all steps we need to encourage our children. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I just wanted to, we had a guest uh, the last week who gave us a beautiful example. And it's exactly what you are saying, uh, Vaishali, when she says that your life is like, like a river that begins on the top of a mountain. And then it meanders and meanders and meanders searching for its purpose, which is the ocean. So by the time it reaches the ocean, it has now meandered through so many different landscapes. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have to be very aware that to create that purpose for our children, we have to allow them to meander. We have to give them that space to meander. And therefore, taking away these notions of, you know, language barriers and, you know, interpersonal skills, whatever it is that we are talking about, allow your children to explore, give them the freedom and the space to discover who they are. Yeah. rather than putting them in these brackets because that doesn't work anymore yeah. the world like you said never, it will never and at one point you will have the regret and your yes. child will blame you you know Absolutely. That you had not given me the opportunity you didn't yeah. allow me to do so and that's how i was not i'm not able to do this so vaishali the organization that you work for has a lot of institutions you said that you mentioned there are about 14 institutions in the in within that uh, campus uh, so I'm guessing that there's a lot of the campus to corporate kind of a shift that happens where children who are in school get into college and college to uh, to the corporate world. How do you prepare uh, the kids to sort of find their way into the corporate uh, world? See, I believe again that exposure is very much important. 
and right from the middle school we set some of the experiences some of the activities for the children the very first of all is uh, experiential learning yes uh, wherein they learn the subjects in a different manner with the experiences then another thing we are having the uh, facility of vocational skills for the children so right. uh, they learn few of the vocational things and then we are having the uh, some of the exposure uh, visits for the children even for right. the middle school students right, so right. they go to the have more factory and they um, uh, experienced how the ice creams are being prepared yes yeah uh, for two to three days they go over there they observe the process they ask the questions they have the conversation with the people and at one point they help them also yeah in, yeah in the process so yeah. they come to know you know okay, uh, how this the entire process is being done and where i can uh, <coughs> contribute something where do i fit in yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. so yeah. like that way so every year we uh, arrange this kind of visits sometimes they go to e companies sometimes they go to khadi mandir sometimes stay they, they go to uh, printing press so yeah. any, any kind of place It's not Correct. like that. Okay, they have to go to the such a uh, set kind of places. So that they are exposed to all these different different. Uh, and the people yeah. are really so much of happy to have the children at their place. Yeah. I haven't yeah. experienced yeah. any time during these many years that anybody has said no. Children yeah. are not allowed in our campus. That's so lovely. Yeah. 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 They, yeah. They are really very much happy to have and uh, they learn a lot. They learn a lot when they go to the printing press. They learn. how to bind the book how right. the entire printing yes. process is being done and that's how they learn to value the books yeah because it's very difficult to bring the work life into a classroom so then it's better for the classroom to sort of go into the work life and See, kind of it's not always it, right? in the uh, boundaries yeah. of the four walls you know you have to come out i love children when they are out of the classrooms yes <laughs> that's where the learning begins yeah yes yes exactly yes. so uh, this kind of exposures we uh, st- uh, start providing to the children right from the middle school and when they come to the even we invite every week uh, as i mentioned uh, yeah. the different people uh, hmm. during the rs during our assemblies so right. they come and they share their experiences and many a times we invite the alumni right we are having thousands of alumni across the globe right so, and uh, they, so they are, share their experiences yeah, they share wonderful. their experiences yeah. Yeah, and yeah. they share their school experiences basically i always tell them okay, uh, with the middle school children or till 10th grade students you don't uh, share your uh, corporate journeys or your high school ju- or a higher education journey just uh, you re- recall your school uh, your experiences yes, and how you got yes. where you got yeah yes. yeah and then you talk about that only to the children right. so right. children will be able to understand ke oh masti karna bhi theek baat hai yeah yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i allow children to do the masti you know? i love the fact that you know you bring a lot of the networking skills in the children where you network with the alumni you network with the corporate world you network with you know small businesses or big businesses i mean and i know amdavad is such a big uh, such an amazing place for education i mean there are some of the top education institutions in ahmedabad workshops as well we so invite many. the artisans yeah. at our yeah. campus and yeah. children are having three or four days of workshops with the tie dye or with the murals or with something else yeah. Yeah, not right. many things not many things yeah. handicraft yeah. things also so the, so what i'm hearing is is exposure uh bringing yes. in the experiential learning into the classroom uh, because if you really want to prepare our children for what we call the 21st century skills it is these experiences that will actually very much take important take them to where they want to go yes. uh, where we give them the space to explore, explore and i think this has been such a beautiful conversation uh, uh-huh. avashali you have really uh, given us a i i love the fact that a lot of parents who are watching this will sort of open their mind and their uh, and you know have an idea about how they should be raising their children by giving them that space and their freedom to explore so just i really want to thank you a little you bit yeah. yeah just a little bit of chilling right the yeah, parents need to take have fun have fun, have fun. Have fun. Yes. Yeah. enjoy your time with your child yes yeah. and your marks It's don't define you going to come again and, and there are lots of opportunities yeah, yeah. under the pressure of having the good results under the yes. pressure of having the successful uh, career yeah. we uh, lose uh, 
you know we really uh, make ourselves and our children also deprive of having the fun yes. and company of each other yes yes that yes. is very much important yeah. and have yeah. a company of each other each and every day whenever yes. you are having the opportunity yeah. enjoy the company of your children and let yeah. them enjoy your company as well absolutely we don't have to make it into a stressful pot you know where which every parent is getting burnt out and yeah. i don't think we need to raise our children in that manner and i hope that a lot of parents take away all the gems that you have sort of shared with us today so i just wanted to thank you so much uh, vishali dr vishali for being on our show and i hope that a lot of parents especially in the gujarat area who know you really well because you are quite the champion there uh, you know will hopefully support your views and and sort of incorporate that in their parenting journey so thank you dr vishali thank you deepa and we will see you guys next week for yet another episode of imperfect parenting thank you